All right, welcome back to Live at Noon. The Utah Department of Transportation is asking for feedback on some proposed changes to three intersections on Bangor Highway. Since 2012, UDOT has worked to remove stoplights from intersections on Bangor and, con and convert the highway into a freeway. So far, 10 have had stoplights removed. Seven freeway-style interchanges have been added, with three more set to be finished this year. We want to go in depth on this. It's complicated. There's a lot going on with Bangor and has been for a long time. So joining us live to talk about it, John Gleason from UDOT. John, thanks for being with us. First of all, let's let's get the big picture. What, what's what, what's the original problem with Bangor? Not necessarily a problem, Max, but it's uh, it's one of our most heavily traveled uh, roads on the western part of in the western part of Salt Lake County right now. There's uh, more than 60,000 vehicles that use uh, Bangor Highway every day. And so we want to plan ahead for that growth. And over the last decade or so, we've been converting these intersections into freeway style interchanges to, you know, just improve, improve efficiency, let people get to where they're going a little bit easier. And uh, on top of that, it also improves safety. Anytime you can take out a stoplight on, on a busy highway like Bangor Highway, that's going to uh, take out that conflict point where people are, are stopping and have the potential to run a uh, stoplight and, and just uh, make it more into a uh, freeway, which I think is, um, is going to be a good thing for everybody that travels out there. All right. And there's kind of a push and pull with building roads and development at the same time, right? Because um, Bangor, you, said, you mentioned on the west side, um, all of a sudden, I think a lot of us realize in the last 20 years that more than half of the Salt Lake Valley is actually west of I-15. Very true. I mean, there's so much growth that's happening all over the state, but especially on the western side of, of Salt Lake County and, and down into Utah County. And, and so it's just important to make uh, smart uh, decisions as far as transportation is concerned so that uh, so that we can we can best handle these changes and, and all of the uh, the people that are moving into our state, the businesses. And uh, we just want to be able to accommodate all of that growth. Yeah. Now, let's yeah, talk no about where these uh, interactions changes are though first of all where have you already put interchanges in and what are what are we looking forward to in the near future is at 126 south um, 104 south and 6200 south that we started last year um, those are all in the final stages right now just a few um, a few tie-up items on on each but uh, but those are all those are all in place uh, we've done uh, interchanges at 70th south 78th uh, 54th really all up and down the, uh, the the corridor there if you look at it right now from 134 south all all the way down to 47th South, there's only one stoplight and that's at 9,800 South. And that's one of one of the next ones that we plan to address here. So so that's that's a lot of uh, free flow there where people aren't having to to stop at the at the uh, stoplights and they're able to get to where they're going easier. So that's an important point you just made. And, and our viewers are looking at a, a series of maps right now, seeing those three spots you mentioned, 100, 134th, 98th and uh, then 4 47th. So does that act, what, what does that do? Does that actually accomplish getting rid of all lights uh, within that swath? So essentially it, Bangor will will feel more like <laughs> excuse me more like a uh, freeway. Um, so you're not going to have to stop at uh, at the intersection of say Bangor and and uh, 4700 South. There'll be a freeway style interchange there. So that if you want to get off on onto a uh, 47th or or on from 47 to uh, Bangor, it'll feel like you're entering um, as you would a freeway. And you had, and, uh, you had a meeting last night uh, to discuss the 134th South um, interchange and, and what you plan to do with that. How'd that go? Did many people show up and were they, were they happy? Were there some folks who were upset? Yeah, a really successful meeting, and, and the whole purpose of of uh, getting the word, <laughs> excuse me, getting the word out on all of these is just to get that public input. Um, it, we can't make these decisions in a bubble, and uh, we have to have we have to have uh, feedback from from the public, from businesses that are nearby, from 
from homeowners and uh, the community. We want to make sure that we're working uh, very closely with folks so that it's something that they want and something that serves the needs of, uh, of our future. And next Wednesday, you're going to be talking about 98th South, and then uh, a week after that, actually less than a week, the following Tuesday, talking about the 47th South uh, interchange, right? So we have that information up there. What can people expect, and what, what would you want to tell people who are thinking about going to those? Well, we want to we want to get their their thoughts on uh, on these projects and and uh, anytime we we look at the environmental studies, we're looking at how we can accomplish our goals with uh, impacting people as little as possible. I mean, there's always going to be impacts when you're talking about major construction projects like this, but we you know we want to see if there are ways that we can that we can uh, work around or work with uh, the community there um, so that we're not we're not impacting uh, their, their daily lives any more than we have to. Last question, John, where, um, where should people go if they want to attend that online meeting tonight about 134th South, how do they get there? You can go to our UDOT, <laughs> excuse me, you can go to our UDOT website, Max, and, and uh, then click on the Bangator, um, the Bangator link, and that will take you to the, to the meeting. All right. John Gleason from UDOT. I, yeah, by the way, I like your setup there. Like I told you, it looks like your, it looks like an NFL team logo behind you, and and I, I give a thumbs up to the hair. Danny, do you agree? Yeah. Yeah. Dan, Danny you likes the hair good. too. Yeah. Off the field, Max. Mm -hmm, Just got mm -hmm. off the field. They they made me look like a rooster. So. No, you're a lot hipper than I am. I'm 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 impressed. <laughs> All right. Thanks, John. Thank you guys.